Laptops have evolved into incredible machines, thin, lightweight, powerful, and capable of handling almost anything we throw at them. They've got high resolution displays, lightning fast processors, and enough RAM to run demanding software with ease. But with all these advancements, their batteries still disappoint. In 2024, we're still glued to chargers, planning our work or entertainment around the next outlet we can find. Why is that? The problem isn't just a lack of innovation, it's a much deeper issue rooted in the very nature of battery technology, design priorities, and consumer expectations. Think about it. Everything else in laptops has seen breakthroughs year after year, yet batteries have barely improved since the 1990s. That's because making batteries better is far more complicated than it seems. So, why haven't we fixed this yet? And is there any hope on the horizon? As we dive into the science, the trade-offs, and the economic realities behind laptop battery technology, you'll start to see why this isn't just a simple failure. It's a perfect storm of challenges. But what might surprise you most is how some solutions may already be within reach. Every year, tech companies show off major improvements to battery life. Claims like all-day battery life and fast charging seem almost like promises to end our charging challenges. But in reality, we're still stuck constantly searching for outlets. Sure, we've got high-definition screens, powerful processors, and faster refresh rates than ever, but none of that matters if your laptop dies before the day is even halfway through. <laughs> it's not just an inconvenience. This limitation severely impacts what laptops are capable of. If your battery can't keep up with the demands of powerful software, media, and multitasking, your laptop can't truly live up to its potential. But why are we still stuck in this cycle? Why is battery technology lagging behind every other major breakthrough in laptop development? Despite the huge advances in processor speed, design, and display quality, batteries seem to remain frozen in time. We're still mostly using lithium-ion technology, which hasn't changed much since the 90s. While this type of battery has served its purpose for a long time, it's starting to show its age, and the tech world is looking for alternatives. But improving battery performance is much harder than it seems. From the limitations of current battery materials to the ongoing push for thinner, lighter devices, the challenges are stacked against us. So, what will it take to break this battery barrier? And can we expect change soon? Well, we're still relying on lithium-ion technology, which was groundbreaking when it first arrived nearly three decades ago. But as time has passed, it's become painfully clear that lithium-ion batteries have significant limitations. For starters, their energy density is low, meaning they can't store as much energy in a small space. This forces manufacturers to either compromise on battery size or sacrifice other important components. Additionally, Lithium-ion batteries lose energy quickly over time, reducing their capacity to hold a charge after only a few hundred cycles. While lithium-ion batteries have been the go-to option, we've been waiting for a real breakthrough, something to push past these limitations. Research into alternatives, like solid-state batteries, offers hope for the future. These batteries promise greater energy density, faster charging, and improved safety. The problem is, we're still a few years away from seeing them in widespread use. Even though companies are working on them, mass production is still not reasonable, and the costs remain high. In 2024, lithium-ion batteries are like putting a cassette tape into a modern stereo. <coughs> they served us well in the past, but as technology progresses, we need something more advanced. Unfortunately, despite all the incredible advancements we see in laptop design, processors, and displays, the battery technology just can't keep up with the demand for longer-lasting, higher-performance power solutions. So what's the solution? You'd think the answer would be simple, right? Just shove a bigger battery into the laptop and BAM! Problem solved. But the reality is a lot more complicated. Let's break down why that's not as easy as it sounds. For starters, there's the issue of heat. Bigger batteries generate more heat. And we all know heat is bad news when it comes to electronics. Not only does it degrade the battery's performance over time, but it can also affect the overall performance of the laptop. When things get too hot, they slow down. Plus, overheating can lead to safety concerns. So it's a fine line between a bigger battery and risking serious damage. Then there's the design problem. Laptops today are all about being thin and lightweight. 
That's what users demand. Slim, portable devices they can carry around all day without feeling weighed down. If you just make the battery bigger, the laptop becomes bulkier. And let's face it, no one wants to lug around a heavy, clunky laptop, especially if it means sacrificing portability. Finally, we get to the cost. Making larger batteries is expensive. The materials alone drive up production costs, and when you add in the engineering and design challenges, manufacturers face a huge expense. That, of course, gets passed on to consumers. And, as much as we love tech, paying extra for a bulkier laptop just to squeeze in a bigger battery isn't something everyone's willing to do. So, while it might seem like a simple fix, making bigger batteries comes with a whole set of challenges that just aren't easy to overcome. Even the best batteries aren't invincible. Over time, all batteries break down, and that's something we don't often think about. You might feel like your laptop is running great, but after months of use, that full charge just isn't what it used to be. What? One of the biggest reasons for that is keeping your laptop plugged in all the time. That's a silent killer for your battery. While it might seem like a good idea to leave it plugged in, constantly charging it to 100% accelerates degradation. Lithium ion batteries aren't designed to stay fully charged all the time. They perform better when their charge is kept between 20% and 80%. If you leave it at 100%, it gradually wears down the battery's capacity. Then there's the issue of running heavy software. Whether it's video editing, gaming, or rendering, pushing your laptop's limits takes a serious toll on the battery. High demand means the battery drains quicker than it can recharge. Even though modern laptops are powerful, using them for resource-intensive tasks for long periods of time can make that battery's lifespan much shorter. What you might have once considered a normal session of work or play is now taking a huge chunk of your battery's potential life. In just a year or two, you might notice that a full charge no longer lasts as long as it used to. Where you once had a full day of use, you're now scrambling for the charger halfway through. It's a subtle but inevitable process. Your battery loses its punch, and your once powerful laptop starts to feel a lot less capable. Here's something that isn't talked about enough. The software running on your laptop is secretly draining your battery. And I'm not talking about the obvious stuff, like running a game or editing video. I'm talking about all the background processes that constantly suck power, even when you're not actively using your laptop. There's a great number of apps and browser tabs that are always open, running quietly in the background. Whether it's an email client, cloud storage service, or even that streaming platform you forgot to close, these apps consume precious energy all day long. It adds up quickly. Sometimes you might not even realize that apps are updating or syncing in the background, gobbling up your battery without you lifting a finger. You have also the operating system itself. While some operating systems like macOS have better power management, most are far from perfect. Windows, for example, is notorious for inefficient power consumption. Even with power-saving features enabled, the OS can still drain your battery with unnecessary processes. It's almost like it's constantly working against the user instead of optimizing for battery life. And let's not even get started on those so-called energy-saving modes. Sure, they promise longer battery life, but they're usually just putting a temporary band-aid on a much bigger problem. You're sacrificing performance for marginal battery savings, and it's not a real solution. In the end, these modes don't tackle the core issue. Software is a silent energy vampire that keeps draining your battery even when you're not using your laptop. So why hasn't the laptop battery issue been solved by now? It turns out the challenges are a lot bigger than we think. Tech companies are working hard to improve battery life, but the hurdles are massive. First, there's the physics of it all. Improving battery capacity isn't just about tweaking designs or materials. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in physics. Lithium ion batteries, for example, are already at their energy density limit. That means they can't store much more power in the same amount of space without running into serious issues like overheating or damaging the battery. To make real progress, we'll need a breakthrough in battery chemistry, a discovery that could take years, if not decades, to develop. Then there's the economic side. Developing new battery technologies is expensive. Companies need to invest billions in research and development to make batteries more efficient, safe, and affordable. The problem? The market just isn't demanding radical change. Consumers are still willing to buy laptops with less than ideal battery life as long as they're thin, powerful, and feature-rich. 
Until the demand for longer-lasting batteries grows loud enough, manufacturers may not feel the financial pressure to make the change. Finally, we have consumer expectations. People want sleek, lightweight devices with as many features as possible, fast processors, ultra HD screens, and more. But when these features are prioritized, battery life often takes a back seat. Manufacturers are caught between giving us what we want and what we need, and battery life ends up getting compromised in the process. And that's the paradox of modern tech, constant leaps forward in design and performance. But some crucial aspects like battery life are left trailing behind. It's a reminder that even the most shining innovations come with compromises. But this isn't just a laptop problem. Across tech, some trends vanish as quickly as they emerge, leaving us questioning the true cost of progress. Remember curved phones? They promised to redefine how we interact with our screens, yet they disappeared almost overnight. What went wrong? And does it hint at a deeper issue with how we innovate? Click on this video to find out more.